this part about how to not make it a nightmare for the lead, there are two parts. First, there's the follower's role. As a follower, if you are taking this approach to being more creative and being musical and inserting your own personality and your expression into the dance within the lead and follow dynamic, then you gotta know what you're doing. And you gotta know at least enough about yourself that you can make recoveries. So maybe you don't know what you're doing because you're trying it for the first time. That's fine. That video that I was talking about with Uriel, um, that's in my reels where I'm doing this trial and error thingy, create, create a musicality through trial and error is what I captioned it. Okay. Um, that particular movement, I had never done that in my life. <laughs> I did one part and I was like, oh, the song is still going and he's still got this voice that's continuing. I, I want to hit that. How can I hit that? Like if I stop right now, my movement would do this when his voice is still going like this. So I just went for another rotation. Never tried it in my life, right? So yeah, okay, you're trying something new. But the reason I tried that, and you'll see in the video, I'm not off balance. Like I know where my arm can extend. I know how much my bark, my bark, my back can bend um, while staying connected to my partner. I know what he's doing and what I feel in his hand. Right. So I know if he's pulling at me, which means that I can't go for something that's backbending because I'll end up on the floor or if he's not pulling. And if he's not, then that's my opportunity. Can I throw something in? And usually what happens in that moment is when I do something, I'm creating a connection with my partner. And that now takes it back to the leader. If you feel something, respond to it. There are times that followers grip. Right? There are leaders who are like, oh, this grippy follower. Okay, there might be a technical element there that the follower is not aware of and she's just holding really tightly for no reason whatsoever. But there might be a reactive element there, which means that she's gripping because she's nervous, because she lost her balance, because something hurts, something is not right. And if you can see that instead of a judgment on the follower as poor technique, but say, I wonder why. I wonder what happened. What is there anything I did? Is there anything I can change? Let me pay closer attention in this moment to what what just happened. Then all of a sudden you can respond and react. And in my case, where I'm being creative, you feel something change in the connection. And instead of you continuing on with whatever you want to do, you actually end up adapting. Say, ah, oh, I feel something. Oh, she's she's um, you know, it's kind of stationary. And I see now that her body is doing something. Okay, well, let me hang out. Like, what's the big deal for a lead to do that for a follow so that she can insert something as well? Because the lead follow dynamic, as it has been, has been followers just waiting around for you as a lead to do whatever the hell you want. Oh, you want to do all of this stuff? Okay, cool. I'll just do my side basic right here and wait until you tell me, oh, I can style now? Thank you so much. I appreciate that, right? I don't mind that. I think it's cool, but let's make it a conversation. And I'm not doing my stuff all the time, constantly through the dance. I insert it when it makes sense. Something to the music usually. And most of the time I can do it within the time that you need me to be somewhere else. I have different paths to the same destination, but I'll be there where you need me to be. And sometimes I won't. And you know what? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes a lead doesn't even give a lead where it should be. And so I'm adapting. You wanted something, you didn't, you didn't actually give the indication properly. I can fill that space. I can wait. I can shuffle my steps a little faster, get there a little bit sooner because even though you let it late, I can be there on time. So followers are doing that all the time. I understand if you don't know anything, you're just like, oh, Magnus said, be creative and I'm going to do whatever I want, but you don't even have your balance. You don't have your timing. You don't have your equilibrium. You don't know what your body is doing. You don't know what your right arm is doing, what your left arm is doing. You have no concept of connection. You don't know tension and resistance. You don't know elasticity in the dance. You know, you're not even looking at your partner. I'm not telling you to go and do whatever the hell you want. You need to figure yourself out first. Right. And you need to be working on yourself all the time. It is not a level end of the game level that you arrive at. You get to one level and then you just keep on expanding and growing and learning more. And if you're not doing that, then I don't think that you really should be doing trying to be creative in those ways because you've lost the essence of where all that creativity comes from. 
which is growth, which is awareness. And so if you're not focusing all that on yourself and you just want to randomly insert it, it's not coming from the right place. And that's where mistakes happen. That's where people do get hurt. Thank you.